Carlos Perez is not quite the explosive entertainer that Boney Rodriguez is, but he's not far off. He's in your blue singlet, action underway at 86 kilograms. This is our second final between Puerto Rico and Cuba. Cuba won that first one at 65 kilos. Valdez Tobier of Cuba over Gomez of Puerto Rico. And Sal's an incredibly strong wrestler, but Espinal has been trying to hit that inside trip all day. I like this matchup, Brock. My bronze medal match here at 86 kilos. Ambrocio Grifo comes out 33 second fall after that heartbreaking defeat in the semifinal. Good to see him get back in the win column. Passivity offered against Espinal. It's confirmed 47 seconds in. He has a warning for passivity. And this has been the game plan from Cuba all day. Try and get a hold of him for the first minute, feel him out. Try and get the other wrestler on the shot clock later in the bout. Head-to-head -head defense here. Passivity on Espinal is going to be confirmed. One apiece. Oh, and I missed the the one against Espinal early on. I thought it was one-one. They have Espinal on the shot clock. Yeah, I thought the same thing, Brock. But Espinal here, not looking too bothered by the shot clock. Earlier when his semi-opponent was on the shot clock, he went for the big sweep. And Perez is gonna take the lead 1-0 on the shot clock point, just over a minute remaining in this first period. Salas so stout defensively in his semifinal against Herbert. Herbert continued to fire off leg attacks, was unable to finish just the one step out 30 seconds into the bout. Salas starting to get some fakes going. Rolling the shoulders. Talked by Espinal. Knee pick float. Espinal comes out on top. Four offered, four confirmed. What a flurry. A cross knee pick attempted by Salas Perez. Espinal used the overhook to kick him over the top. 4-1 out of the flurry. And that's the second time today we've seen Espinal stand on his head, float his hips over, come out on top, get a feet to back. which is very impressive considering how he has his hair up today. Love it, he's been putting on a great show for the fans. And let's take a look at this action. The sequence has started. Duck under, cross knee pick by Salas Perez. Espinal used the overhook and the left leg kicks him up over the top. Four points, feet to danger. A 4-1 lead for Jaime Espinal of Puerto Rico. And I like where we're sitting for action in the second period. Salas Perez trailing by three. You're gonna see a different pace from him here in period number two. And Espinal putting on a great show today. His fifth four point move of the day. We're here in action on red as Salas Perez tries for a knee attack. Double leg by Salas Perez, drives through. Belly down for Espinal. Two offer, two confirmed. Close down to 4-3. Salas though is gonna need another takedown to take the lead. Takedown or exposure. Espinal holding first criteria. 
after that beautiful hip float at the end of the first. One thing we're glad to see, we only had two finals contested yesterday. We've already had four, or excuse me, we've had three so far contested today. Cuba putting all five of their big guns in the finals. Despite the blast double from Salas Perez, Espinal not looking terribly concerned. And there, multiple attacks, stringing them together. Salas Perez scores the takedown, takes the lead 5 4. Espinal looks to be dinged up on the boundary line, kind of shaking his head. Slow to get back to the center. And the way Salas Perez is looking, I don't think he's going to go into shutdown mode just yet. I think he wants one more. And we've seen Espinal today kind of wait till the last minute to show some offense. Let's see if he gets it going here. More than halfway through the second period. Slap by Salas Perez. Drops down to both knees, went, went to all fours. Misdirection, head to the outside, gets one leg behind, not able to convert the score. Closing minute of the bout, 86 kilogram championship final between Salas Perez and Espinal. Salas Perez doing a great job keeping Espinal on the defensive. Espinal not able to generate any attacks. He's gonna need a takedown here to win this one. At the same time, the one score that Espinal has was a counter. So at what point is Salas Perez, and he starts to look over at the clock. We're under 30 seconds, so there's not gonna be any shot clock come into play. Double leg again by Salas Perez, and when he explodes, he drives right through Espinal, another step out. And now we're to the point where Espinal needs a takedown. <laughs> Tuck under, head fake. Sal Perez fending him off. Espinal unable to score a takedown in the closing seconds. 6 4 victory for Anaris Salas Perez. So far, it has been a 